Greetings and blessings, beautiful people. On the menu today is Hawuza Coco flour or Hawuza Coco mix. Here is some millet. I am just rinsing it and making sure it's squeaky clean. And I also have some organic ginger, which I have cut up and I'm going to blend with the millet. And I'm also going to add some spices. Here is huintian or green salim. I also have some pepper flakes or chili flakes. Some cloves have just gone in and I'm also adding some black pepper. And I'm just going to process this in the coffee grinder to get it to be a little bit fine before I add it to the blender mixture. Now I'm also adding some corn dough. So this is fermented corn dough. And this is just because I did not have enough millet. I had ran out. So this is my last bit of millet until I recently got some sent to me from Ghana. So I added the corn dough and that gives it a really nice sour taste. I love corn dough in my cocoa. So after blending it, I spread it out in a bowl and set it outside to air dry. And at this point, it is about 50% dry. It is a little bit damp still. So I go in and rub the mixture between my palms to get it to become finer, to break down the clumps that have formed. Then after that, I sift it through a strainer. The whole point of bringing this recipe to you all is so that you can make your hawaza coco without straining all the food out of it, right? So after uh, sifting it through the strainer, I also blend the chaff that I got because that is more food. And the whole point again is to not waste anything. So there this is all we had left that we had to discard now we have all the hawuza coco right here in this bowl it is still damp so we're going to set it back outside to dry completely so that this is able to store um, at room temperature or in your pantry for months without spoiling and that's exactly what we did now to prepare the hawuza coco you take the desired amount Add some warm water to it, whisk and make sure that there are no lumps in, have some boiling water on the stove and then pour your mixture in, whisking simultaneously and it should immediately start thickening up for you. And that is your Hawuza Coco. You didn't have to strain the food out and lose the nutrients, right? It is done. Perfection. We served it today with, you know, the usual, some akara or kose, as well as some puff puff or bull fruit. Take a minute and look at the texture of this hawuza coco, reminiscent of the original. Yes, and yet you didn't lose your fiber. You certainly did not lose the texture and your nutrients are also right in that bowl. Win-win love it add your preferred sweetener and dine we had this on a sunday morning we also sprinkled some roasted peanuts ah it was quite delightful friends i hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two and are inspired to try the recipe so if you do not have freezer space if you do not care to make your hawuza coco and store it in your freezer you can do it ahead of time and have a stock of it in your pantry whenever you need to make hawuza coco you just grab your mix and cook on Thanks for watching, friends and family. It is tough time, as you can see. My husband and I had a great time this Sunday morning while the children were still sleeping in, but breakfast was ready for them when they woke up. Friends, I hope that you enjoyed yourself with us today. Hope to see you pretty soon on my next one. So make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. 
kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in Anaba's kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here <laughs>